Hey, hello there. Welcome to our channel, The Least Complicated. This is the first video uh, of a few that I'm going to put together about our experience getting a travel trailer and a few of the things that I was really concerned about and just sort of what my thoughts were initially prior to getting the trailer and how I feel about things now because it, I just think some of these videos would have helped me. Uh, so hopefully they're helpful for anyone out there who is thinking of getting a travel trailer or just got a travel trailer and you're embarking on this this whole journey. So we decided to get an Airstream. So you may have seen if some, some of our videos, uh, you know, already. And we ordered that last November and it took a while for it to get here and we picked it up in the end of April. We picked it up. And one of the things I was really concerned about was towing. I had never towed before. And... I didn't know what to expect so it's always that unknown thing is going to be that scary thing and it was really scary for me. It was something I was just churning in my stomach about. I was watching as many videos as I could watch about tips towing, uh, going through all the forums and just trying to see if there was anybody out there that could ease my worries and wanting to feel like I was prepared to tow. But the reality is, is like, you can watch a lot of videos and do trainings, but it's the hands-on <laughs> uh, act of towing that is going to be the, the big thing, right? That's going to be the thing that you learn, learn by doing and, and calm your fears by doing. So, you know, the day came when we had to go pick up the trailer. We got our Airstream from Colonial Airstream, and it's about... I don't know, out, maybe an hour and 15 minutes away from our house. We went, we did the whole thing where we stayed over. They teach you all about um, the rig and it's really awesome. You learn everything, stay over. And they taught me how to hook it up and uh, we had an equalizer hitch. So how that all worked. And then comes the time where it's like, all right, here you go. Drive around the parking lot and get yourself, you know, comfortable. And then there you go. Um, they told me there was a mall down the road that, you know, some people drive to, to have that space to get to know how things move uh, but I just decided right, I'm gonna go around the parking lot and I did I went around the parking lot many times and then finally was like I guess I have to leave eventually right uh, and it was really nerve-wracking pulling out onto the road um, and taking off knowing I had to get on like the New Jersey Turnpike and several other busy roads in my you know my my heavy-duty truck with my trailer attached for the first time ever and I can tell you, it was nerve-wracking initially. I was, you know, at the height of awareness, uh, like, oh my gosh, like, I got this thing behind me, like, holy crap, I can't believe I'm doing this, like, why don't you need a license for this? And, um, I, you know, I just kept going because I knew that it was my goal to get this trailer from point A to point B. Uh, and I didn't, you know, if we wanted to camp and we wanted to have adventures in the Airstream, part of doing that was learning how to tow it and get it to where it needed to go. Um, but I have to say, it definitely, definitely was stressful. But here's the thing. It got easier and easier and easier, right? As I finally got to my destination, which was probably like an hour and a half away, it was like our shakedown trip. We went to uh, Keimer's in Branchville. It was one of the few campgrounds that was open early on in the year, um, in the season in April in uh, this part of New Jersey. Uh, got there, backing in, now that was a complete like wreck, but they were so nice at the campground. They, the guy told me exactly what to do couldn't, I wasn't even digesting. I was just following what he told me and I backed into the spot, but you know, it wasn't something I could recreate. So, you know, a few more trips and some help from my cousin, um, teaching me the finer details of backing up in my rig so that I could get a feel for my, it with my truck and backing up. Um, you know, I'm, by the end of the season, I was getting the hang of it. I feel like I was getting the hang of it. I did not pull, I did not back into any 90 degree spots, but I backed into spots that were like diagonal and I backed into um, our seasonal spot multiple times, which is, it's hard, it's, it's sort of, I guess would be like a <laughs> diagonal because I can pull forward and sort of back in. I, I started to understand like how, uh, you know, when I turn the wheel this way, this is what my 
trailer is gonna do. When I turn it that way, this is what my trailer is gonna do. And making those adjustments, um, it was hard at first, for sure. I was overturning the wheel, um, which I guess is the one of the things you know you do. You overcompensate. You're like, okay, way I want to go that way. So you know you turn it in the opposite direction like so much that you're just you just can't get it right. I am still learning, but I want to tell you tell you that I can tow our trailer like a boss, like towing it from point A to point B, no problem. I towed it down to um, Delaware, so we did like, um, you know, with traffic, that was probably at least like over four hours in the end. Um, went multiple places down there. We went to Massey's Landing. I'm going to do a video about that. Um, we went to... Um, um, Cape Henlopen uh, State Park. I'm gonna do a video about that. We also, when we were down there, went to uh, Jellystone, Delaware, Delaware Shores, and we. I went multiple places and I was able to tow back in and this is our first season, right? So, and I'm a complete newbie. Never towed before in my life. Never owned a truck in my life. So back in January, we picked up, uh, we had ordered a truck. So we have a heavy duty um, GMC Sierra AT4 2500. So it is a heavy duty truck. It is a big truck. I've never even driven anything like a 150. So I'm new to trucks too. So I'm making this video just to let you know if it is your dream to get an Airstream or get a travel trailer of any sort and tow it around but you're like oh crap like I've never done anything like that before in my life can I do it I believe you can you have to have the desire right and you have to be willing to just take that step and I think I was I was sort of telling my my kids about this right like like there are some things that are just really scary and you're like you doubt whether you can do them because you're like oh damn that seems like that seems really hard. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that. <laughs> but you just dive in, well educated, right? Like make sure you like know what you're doing, you know, in the sense of I, you know, I've read about what kind of truck I should have, what kind of trailer, like I've learned how to hook them up. You know, these are all the safety checks. Like, you know, like don't be crazy. Um, but then dive in, like just do it. Because I think that's the, the best way to then gain that confidence and like be like, holy crap, I'm doing this, because that was me. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm like, kids, look, I'm doing it. Um, but, it, you know, it was definitely like a really, really exciting journey to embark on. And I'm so glad that I didn't let some of those roadblocks like keep us from doing this, that I, you know, just said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm just, I'm gonna do it. Um, because my wife, like she was not interested in towing or doing doing that stuff um but she's like picked up other jobs she's the one that does our black tank and does all our tanks and everything like um so you know we've just sort of picked the jobs we were like the most comfortable with and mine even though i didn't know what the heck i was gonna be doing was towing um so anyway hopefully this video helps somebody and it wasn't too much of uh just uh going on and on and on but i felt like i needed somebody telling me that i could do it like back when i was about to embark on this and i don't know i didn't i didn't find that video like i didn't find that that inspiration i did find a lot of other like how to's um which you should definitely watch those there are a lot of great videos on youtube that give you a good explanation of how to turn your wheel how the trailer is going to react um where you know determining your pivot point and all those things so definitely watch those too um but really if you've watched all those videos and you're at the point where you're like wow it's go time you know i the next step is just doing it it's just doing it and I almost um, paid for like lessons there was a, um, a service I had found like once you have the trailer you can get some lessons that's the one thing that was so hard is I was like why can't I just go anywhere and like get a lesson without a trailer couldn't find anything like that um, where I am which is in the Northeast uh, tri-state area um, and I almost did pay a guy that was gonna like meet me soon after I got the trailer and like give me some lessons and I bet that would have been great I'm sure it would have been great, but logistically it was just going to be really hard for our family to figure out how we were going to do that um, uh, based on where we were going to do it and the timing and everything. Um, if you have something like that, that's great. But if you don't, again, want to let you know, if you don't have that luxury, you don't have that extra money to pay for that, uh, just, just, just feel good about, you know, embarking on towing your trailer 
you can probably do it just fine. It's just getting over that hump, doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it over and over and over again. And before you know it, maybe you'll be making a video just like this. Thank you guys for watching. Um, definitely have some more videos that we want to make uh, and just to sort of just show our journey, right? We've learned a lot of new things this this first season and didn't necessarily have all the time to be recording as we were doing. Uh, but uh, after the fact, now that camping is sort of um, coming to uh, an end here in New Jersey because the weather changes, uh, hopefully we have more time. We want to do some podcasts and want to put together some more content. So appreciate you giving this video a watch, giving it a thumbs up if you like it, and hitting that subscribe button if you want to see more.